So dear students, today I will guide you to work on the first practical. The aim of the practical is to connect a lamp controlled by one-way switch in PVC pipe wiring. Now to do this wiring, we require two diagrams, a circuit diagram and a layout diagram. Now in a circuit diagram, it shows the lamp, the switch and how they are connected to the supply. Whereas in layout diagram, it shows the position of the lamp and the switch and how they should be placed in the wiring. Now here, this circuit diagram, when you draw, there is no dimensions required. You can make it bigger as per the space or you can draw it smaller. Whereas layout diagram is to scale. Now, I will explain you briefly how this circuit diagram is drawn. Now, there are two polarities of the supply. PH stands for phase and NE stands for neutral. Now, across both these polarities, the voltage is single phase 230 volts AC. Here is the symbol for one-way switch. And this is the symbol for lamp. Now, phase is always connected to the switch. From the switch, it is connected to the lamp. And from the lamp, it is returned back to neutral. So, circuit is complete only when you close down this switch. If you observe this switch, it is in open position. That is, off position. So, when you close down this switch, it becomes on and current starts flowing through the lamp and the circuit is complete. Now here, let me tell what color code is used for doing this wiring. Phase is always represented by red color insulated wire. Neutral is represented by black color insulated wire. And the return from the switch to the lamp is yellow color. So, phase is red, return is yellow, and neutral is black. So, we use three color codes, red, yellow, black. Now, black can also be substituted by blue color. Now, how this circuit is put in this layout diagram? This circuit diagram is now put in this layout diagram. Now in layout diagram, we have pipes of 30 centimeters placed horizontally and the second pipe placed at right angle. Now this is the position of the lamp shown here and this is the position of the switch. Now how this wiring is to be done? The face is connected to the switch. So in our layout diagram, the switch is at this place. So red color wire goes to the switch. So red color wire enters through this pipe and comes down and it is to be connected. If you see the switch, the switch has two terminals. So we connect red wire to the bottom terminal. Now from the switch is a yellow color wire. So yellow color wire will be from the switch to the lamp. And from the lamp to the neutral is black color wire. So Red color enters through this pipe, comes to the switch. From the switch is a yellow color wire which goes to the lamp and neutral from the lamp to the supply. Now to work on this practical, we need some tools, we need some electrical fitting wires which I'll explain here. Now these are some of the hand tools which you will need to work on this practical. Now first we have, this is heavy duty flat tip screwdriver. Now this screwdriver is used to fix or remove the screws on this wooden board. Now this is also a flat tip medium screwdriver. Now here we have a tester and this tester is also used as connected screwdriver. Now since we are working on a wooden board, we need to make holes and we make holes using this poker. 
Here we have insulated combination wire. We want to cut the wire, strip out the insulation. We make use of this insulated plier. Now here are the fittings which we require while doing the practical. Now here this is PVC pipe. PVC stands for polyvinyl chloride. Now polyvinyl chloride is an insulator. So this pipe has a dimension 5-8 inches. So I have cut this pipe as per the layout diagram to 30 centimeters. So we need two pipes. So two pipes are kept ready of 30 centimeters each. Now these pipes are fitted to the wooden board by using metallic saddles. So if the pipe is 5-8 inch, saddle is also 5-8 inch. So saddles are used to fix the pipe firmly to the wooden board. Or if it is on the wall, it is to be fitted on the wall using saddles. Now here, you see one way switch. So one way switch has two terminals for connection behind. So we connect red wire to the bottom terminal and yellow wire to the top terminal. Even if you change it, there is no harm. But to keep uniformity at this class, I tell all students to connect red wire to the bottom terminal and yellow wire to the top terminal. Now this whole white color what you see is PVC. Now a PVC single pole switch or one way switch is fitted on a one way gang box. This gang box is also made up of PVC. So this is one way gang box because you can fix only one switch to this gang box. Now here is an angle holder. Again, the material which is used is PVC. If you turn it back, you will see two terminals for connection. Now as per the circuit diagram, you will get yellow color wire and black color wire. You can connect one of the wire at this terminal and other at the second terminal. Now this angle holder is fitted on a PVC square block. So here machine screws are provided. You take them out and once you take out the wires from this holes connected, you have to fit it in this position by using this screws provided. If you observe this switch carefully, you will see the brand on brand of the company which manufactures this. See this brand is always kept on the top. Now while connecting the wires, just turn it in the opposite direction and you will see two terminals, the bottom terminal and the top terminal. Now you have to connect red wire representing face to the bottom terminal and yellow color wire which represents return to the top terminal. Now even if you connect it in opposite direction that is yellow color bottom and red color on top there is no harm the switch will function and the circuit will work. To keep uniformity across all the boards I tell the students to come to connect red color wire to the bottom terminal and yellow color wire to the top terminal. Now if you see this angle holder again you will see two terminals. These two terminals are for connecting the wires. Now as per the layout diagram you will see red uh, you will see black color wire and yellow color wire to be connected here. So you can connect yellow color to this terminal and black to this. Even if you change there is no harm. So there is no particular way of connecting the wires to the holder. Now here as explained earlier I will be using copper wires. This copper wire is 1 mm square. Now this copper wire has red color insulation. So red color insulation represents phase. Now this red color will go from the supply to the switch. Now this is again 1 mm copper wire but with yellow color insulation. This is a return path for the current to flow. And here again 1 mm square black wire represents neutral. 
that is from the lamp to the neutral of the supply. So we have three color wire, red, yellow and black. Red goes to the switch, from the switch it is the yellow color which goes to the lamp and black wire from the lamp to the neutral of the supply. While marking the layout diagram on the wooden board, we need a scale. Now, if you use this scale, there are two dimensions here. One is in centimeters and other is in from inches. So, I'll be using centimeters. So, you have to mark horizontal line of 30 centimeters using this scale and then a vertical line again at 30 centimeters. So, to mark this line, I'll be using a chalk. Now, here we have saddles in this box. Saddles are used to fix the pipes. Now, in our layout diagram, we need four of these saddles. These saddles are fitted by using small screws and medium screwdriver. So, medium screwdriver, small screw and saddle will be used to fit the pipes. Now, to fit the PVC square block, we will be using 35 by 8 screws and we will be using heavy duty flat tip screwdriver. So, you cannot use a small screwdriver, the tip of the screwdriver will get damaged. Similarly, we will be using slim 3 cm or 30 mm by 6 mm screws to fix the one way gang box. So, we use medium screwdriver and this screw to fix the gang box. Now, I will be guiding one of our students to work on this practical. Now, the first step is draw the layout diagram on this working board. So, he will be drawing 30 centimeters line and 30 centimeters at right angle. So this is 30 centimeters and 30 centimeters as per the layout diagram. Now you have to mark 10 centimeters from here again 10 to make holes to fix the saddles. So 10 centimeters again 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters. Just make a marking. Now you have to make holes at this markings what you have done on the layout diagram and for this purpose we make use a poker. What you have to do is you have to stand in this position. You don't stand in this position. If you stand in this position you will not be comfortable enough to make the hole. So stand in this position you can hold this frame of the board and make holes like this. All four holes to fix the saddle. So now once these holes are prepared, you have to fix the saddle on one side by using a small screw and a medium screwdriver. In all, four saddles have to be fitted on this layout diagram. Now, first step is draw the layout diagram and mark holes for fixing the saddles. After fixing the saddles, you have to place the pipes in the saddles. Now, he will be placing the wires as per the circuit diagram and the layout diagram on the actual board. So red color wire stands for face. So from the supply it goes to the switch. So position of the switch is here. Yellow 
color wire will be from the switch to the lamp. Lamp position is here. And black color wire is from the lamp to the neutral of the supply. So current starts flowing through the phase, through the switch, to the lamp, back to the supply. So once the wiring is done in the pipe, you have to make holes on the other side of the saddles to fix the saddles firmly to the board. So we will use poker and make holes on the other side of the saddles. Fix the other side of the saddle by using the medium screw driver and the small screw. Now in the beginning of the practical, the first screw was kept little loose. So you have to fix it tightly after the wiring is done. Now this PVC square block, I have already made two cuts for it, for these pipes to go in. So it will be placed like this. Now before that, we have to take out the wires from these holes provided. Now we will be using flat tip heavy duty screwdriver to fix this PVC square block to the wooden board. So once you have fitted this, just pull and check whether it is fitted properly. If it is not, again you have to tighten this screw. Now it is fitted properly. So after fixing this PVC square block, we have to proceed with fixing of the angle holder with the connected screwdriver. So you open the screw, not fully, and connect any one of this wire to one of the terminal. Yeah, so this is a good practice of checking that you have fitted it properly after connecting the wires. Now you have to connect it in this way by using the two screwdriver. So match the holes of the angle holder with that of the PVC square block. So after fixing the angle holder, now it is time to fix the one way switch. Now this gang box has to be prepared one slot so it is fitted like this. If there is no slot, you will not be able to fix this gang box over the pipe. So the slot is already prepared. Now you see the brand name and just turn so red color wire will be connected to the bottom and yellow will be connected to the top. Once you have fitted, just move and see that it is firmly fitted. Okay, once it is fitted, now it is time for testing. So this is a multimeter I will be using to check how much voltage is available to give to this circuit. So at present the switch of this multimeter is off. So I will turn this knob to AC voltage. Now here you have reading 200 and 600. Now since the voltage is about 200 I have to place this knob on 600 volts AC. These are the two pins which I'll put in this three pin socket. So now I'll test what is the voltage which we are supplying. So once you test it, you see. So the voltage what is recorded here is 238 or 237. So this is the voltage which required for this circuit. So this multimeter helps in measuring what is the input voltage. So here the lamp does not glow. So it is 
a neutral. Now check the other terminal. So here the lamp glows. So you identify that this wire is a phase wire and this need to be connected to the red wire of our circuit. Whereas black wire will be connected to the other end which does not glow. First you have to take out this plug and then start connecting. So red wire will be connected here and black wire will be connected here. So once you connect these ends to the connector link, make a habit that after connecting you pull and check. That means you have connected it correctly and firmly. Otherwise while testing these wires can come out and cause injury. So after connecting it is time to test the circuit. We cannot give directly 230 volts to this supply because I have not checked how the wiring is connected, whether it is connected properly. So the safe way is to test it in series. So what I do is I place the 3 pin plug in this series connection and I put it on. So when I put it on, you see the voltage drops, both the lamps burn very dim. So this shows there is continuity. So current flows through the circuit and as a result both the lamps glow. Okay, once you know that there is continuity, you can connect directly to parallel connection. That means you are giving now 230 volts to this circuit as per the circuit diagram. So I give 230 volts. So in this parallel connection, the test lamp does not work. Test lamp comes in picture only when you connect it in series. So when you connect in series, I'll explain once. Suppose if one, if one lamp does not glow, the other lamp will also not glow. So if the scenario is in this position, somewhere there is this connection. So you cannot give directly to 30 volts. First rectify the problem and then test it again and give parallel connection.